What's up with it, y'all? Before we get into this next video, make sure that you do me a favor and hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a sub to the channel. And remember, the like button is free. Now, we gonna really find out, we gonna get down to the nitty gritty on what really happened between the Gary Russell brothers and Meek Mill. Shout out to A-Side Boxing also. Now, recently, we seen at the Javante Tank Davis fight, Meek Mill, and it looked like the Gary Russell brothers was getting into it. We saw Meek Mill and his team with his bodyguards, they had to be escorted out of the building. Well, Gary Antoine Russell, he went to A-Side Boxing, and he told a real story on what really went down at the Javante Davis fight. And also, what beef they have with Tank Davis. You know, a lot of people feel like that they be hating on Tank and that they got real beef with Javante Davis. Well, he gonna talk about all of that and where all of that comes from. Now, like I said, hit the like button because y'all not gonna wanna miss this one. I'm going to play y'all the audio, and then we're going to cook on it. I've been seeing a lot of people crying about the situation, putting their twist on the story, when they don't really know what happened because they wasn't there. Ah, uh, the Russells always start and stuff. People like to run their mouth before they get the real information on what really went down because they just feel some type of way about one fighter or they just love another fighter so much. And, you know... Um, Right here, we gonna get the real nitty gritty on what really went down. And like I said, I'm gonna play y'all the audio and then we gonna cook on it and we gonna talk about it. So, hit my like button and here's the audio. What Gary Antoine Russell has to say on what really went down with the situation. I really want to know his champ. You, you from Maryland, DC area. Tank is from Baltimore area, not too far. Right. Where did the Russell Davis beef started. It really wasn't no beef. It's just the, the tenacity of a, of a fighter. Okay. We're fighters. Okay. You know, he representing his area. We represent our areas. Yeah. He feel as though he, he's a stomper and he want to make, yeah. make a lot of noise and kick up a lot of dust. Right. So be it. We don't take, we don't take no uh, offense to it. Yeah. He's going in, in the ring. He, yeah. This is like, some, this is boxing talk. Sure, sure. This you know, athlete yeah. trying to be a better athlete on the East Coast is an athlete, but trying to be a better athlete on the West Coast. That, that's some some stuff that that's going to turn into. It. And a lot of people they just covering up with the niceties of complexities when it comes to the to the wordplay. They call it beef, but it ain't no beef. It's just an athlete being an athlete. And if y'all if y'all really want to get things situated, we can line it up. We can make it happen. But don't be saying it's beef because beef. It turned into some street stuff. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. We never yeah, been the type to, to beef with nobody. Yeah. It's hit the record. And so I'm going to stop it right there real quick, and I'm going to continue to play the rest of it after I say this. Now, a lot of people going around talking about, oh, you know, it's beef, it's beef. And like he said, it's not beef. These are athletes. That's what athletes do. They talk trash back and forth among each other, right? Some athletes, they'll do what they got to do to get a fight. You know, you've heard Gary Russell say what he has to say about Javante Davis over the years because he's competitive and he wants to fight the man. You know what I'm saying? But people seem like that they have a problem with Gary Russell wanting to fight Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? They both athletes. Yeah, they're not in the same weight class, but Gary Russell has said on several different occasions, hey, let's bump. I'll move up. So it's competitiveness. It's wanting to fight the best. You know what I'm saying? You came up Baltimore. I came up in D.C. We're in the same areas. I saw you go up, and now you on top, and I want to show you that you ain't the top dog in this DMV area. It's a competitiveness, right? DC and Baltimore, they've always had that between each other. So for boxing fans to get into it and try to make it a beef or crying because Gary Russell talked junk about Tank and he want to fight Tank, it's all about boxing. It's all fun and games, you know. It's all the business of boxing. But anyway, let me go ahead and continue to play this clip so y'all can hear what he has to say about, you know, Javante Davis and then the Meek Mill situation. Beef, never been a Hold beef. On. Never yeah, been a type to, to beef with nobody. 
Yeah. It set the record straight, make some corrections, but beef. It's never been a beef. Yeah. So so even now. Even, let me hold on, let me stop you for real quick. Even that night. Yeah. It struck to him how to become victorious. He was like, man, look, the, the shot he got the guy out with the shot that he needed to throw, that we was telling him to throw. Yeah. Yeah. So how all that happened then? Like how, how all that, how you get in that? We, uh, so I'm in, I'm in a fight too. Uh, I was like real close to y'all. I just look over, I see Meek standing up. I think I seen uh, Gary Antonio stand up. And I I mean, like, how, how we even get there from, from, from that? Uh, you gonna bring that up, man. Look, I'm gonna tell you, yeah. simply said, big misunderstanding. Sure. A person that don't box. Yeah. And a person that's just giving instructions to another boxer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's easy. that's basically what it was. You know, we giving instructions to a, to an athlete, and you got a person that's not an athlete <laughs> looking outside in, just like man, confused on what's what's being said. Okay. He don't understand the translations. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, okay. so he got in his little feelings or whatnot. Good thing that things didn't uh, get magnified, you know, and, and materialize into anything else. Everybody went home safely, gladly. You know what I mean? I'm happy for that, but yeah. but hey. Boy, and that's just what it is you know like he said everybody was trying to come up with a narrative saying that the russells was hating on javante davis they was rooting for him to you know lose the fight and that's where meek mill got pissed off and that's not even what happened you heard Gary Antoine was saying we was giving him instructions. We was yelling to him, giving him instructions on what we saw because we are fighters. So we see things that, you know, the next fan can't see or maybe his corner is not telling him. Right. So we're instructing him what punches to throw. And eventually that's the punch that he threw that made Hector Garcia quit on the stool. He was he said the whole night they had been telling Javante to throw that punch. They was actually rooting him on. Now, you did see Gary Russell get on camera and give his, you know, thoughts on how the fight was going on and give his thoughts on how he thought that Javante looked. Once again, that's just a fighter, you know what I'm saying, in, a, in his competitive nature, right? Saying, oh, well, if he get in the ring with me, I see this and I see that. Hey, it's going to be bad if he get in the ring with me. Of course he's supposed to think like that. He ain't supposed to be looking at Tank and thinking, oh, yeah, man, I'm afraid of this guy. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way I can beat him. A real, real athlete that believe in themselves, they don't believe nobody can beat him. And so you got to respect that. And as far as Javante Davis and the Russells, you know, Gary Antoine Russell and uh, Gary Russell Jr., they all great fighters. They all great fighters. And, you know, I would love to see Gary Russell Jr. and Javante Davis fight. You know, whether it's at a catch weight or whether they fight at 135, it don't matter to me. I think that they need to eventually put that on for the DMV. A great fight. Let Tank Davis go out and fight um, Ryan Garcia. Let him show out against Ryan Garcia. If he get past Ryan Garcia, if he can't get a Shakur Stevenson or a Devin Haney in the ring, right? I think that's a huge fight. Gary Russell Jr. and Javante Davis, that's a huge fight. In the meanwhile, let Gary Russell come back, test his shoulder out, get a fight in. If he get past his opponent, hey, that's a big fight to set up for the DMV area. That's a big fight in boxing, you know, regardless of where it's at. But it's huge in the DMV area. You feel me? And so I don't have no problem with that. And as far as Meek Mill, you know, Meek Mill don't know nothing about boxing. If you look at Meek Mill on how he fights, he can't fight a lick. He look horrible. So he needs to shut up and sit down when he had a boxing when he had a boxing event because he talking about something that he don't know how to do. You know what I'm talking about? And going at it with another fighter that know what they talking about, that's the wrong thing to do because you know nothing about boxing. Stick to rapping and stick to the all the rapping about gunplay and all that stuff that you do. And I rock with Meek Mill. Meek Mill a hell of an artist, but I'm just saying, uh, boxing ain't your lane and you can't fight. So it is what it is, you know, uh, that's the story. Gary Antoine Russell, he set the story straight and that's just what it is. Let me know what y'all think about this. Drop a comment in the comment section. How y'all feel about that whole incident and how it went down? Um, would y'all like to see 
Gary Russell Jr., right? Gary Russell Jr. and Javante Davis fight in the future. And how y'all think that fight would do? Anyway, like I said, hit my like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to the channel, and y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again, and I'm gone.